Yesterday we started speaking about the halachot of Lashon Har, that the mitzvot and the averos, they get transferred on the person that you spoke. Yesterday was part one, today we want to speak part two, we want to try to bring down the sources where it's brought down that a person loses his mitzvot at the time when he's, when he's a habitual Lashon Har speaker and other people, your mitzvot get transferred to him and his averot get transferred to you. He says it like this, the Sefer Chavot Alevot writes, One of the Hasidim said, Many people will come to the day of reckoning. When they're going to show them their deeds, what they did in this world, They'll see in their reckoning, in their cheshbon, in their ledger, the merits that they never even did. Viyamuru, and they're going to say, Lo asino otam. They're going to say, I never did it. I never learned Torah. I never put on tefillin. I never down had it. All these mitzvot come to me. Rabotai, listen what the game. Look what Chavot Halavot says. Viyamuru lahem. They're going to embed in Shalmaila. The, the court above is going to tell you like this. Do you know whose mitzvot these are? The person that spoke bad about you, about you and he degraded you, this is his mitzvot that transferred over to you. And so too, so too, if you're going to see some of your mitzvot, your merits are missing, by you speaking bad about other people, you're going to ask, Hey, where, where's my mitzvot? I learned 12 hours a day straight. I put on tefillin, I daven, I kept Shabbat. Where are all my mitzvot? This is what the bedin is going to tell them. Your merits were lost at the time when you were speaking about the other person. You thought by you bringing him down and bringing yourself up, no problem. We, we, we get even with you in the next world. V'chen and so to Rabotai, Yes, mahem gam ken shim tu b'sever chovot achem chovot shulo asu. Rabotai also when they come up there, they're gonna find in their ledger sins that they never did in their life. Uki shomrim and then when they're gonna say lo ashinu, I never smoked. Yomru they're gonna tell him yomru lahem no sof alachem ba'avur ploni uploni she debart alachem. You're gonna say I didn't smoke, I didn't do this, I didn't touch the woman, I didn't sleep with that woman. Rabotai, you know what they're gonna tell you? At the time when you were speaking lashonar on the other person and bringing him down. We were adding to your ledger. These were his sins. So what happens is, like we said yesterday, you lose your mitzvot, and at the same time, what do you do? What do you do? You're taking his avirot. Rabotai the sever orchot tzadikim also wrote the same thing. Shar ha'anava in the gate of humbleness. Vizel oshon rabotai. This is his language. Echad min hachamim sipru alav ra'a. There was one of the Chachamim, one of the rabbis, great rabbis, that they always spoke bad about him. When they informed this Chassid, this pious person, this Chacham, he sent a present to that guy that was speaking bad about him. Rabotai, we don't chap. When people speak negative against you or bad, Rabotai, you don't understand what kind of zikhut it is. These things wipe off all your verot, Rabotai. V'katav lo... This Hasid wrote back to that guy that spoke bad at him. He didn't get angry. He start, didn't start fighting. Somebody scratched your car. I don't know, somebody, the dry cleaner didn't do a good job. You don't get angry, Rabotai. You take it as is. As is. Hashem forgives you. Rabotai, look what he says. He wrote to him like this. You send me a present from your merits, your mitzvot. But I have to give you something back. I have to do chesed with you also. So I'm giving you a present. You give me your mitzvot. I'm giving you a real present over here. Kilu yom adim rabotai. Listen carefully. Because on the day of judgment, marim mitzvot lahar bebne adam. They're going to show to a person many mitzvot. Shlo asu otam a mitzvot that he never even did them. V'yomur and they're going to say, Halo lo asinu zeh. We never did them. V'yeshvu lahem. They're going to answer him. Otam shi sipru alechem ra. Hem basu el mitzvot. Those people that spoke bad about you is their mitzvot, not your mitzvot. You just took their reward. They take it from there, from them, and they give it to you. Rabotai, can you imagine? When a person speaks Lashon Har, can you imagine? 
You know, Lashon, we, right? A person who speaks Lashon, he's compared to a snake. You know that, right? Every other animal, there's a purpose for any other animal. Where a lion attacks, he kills an animal. Does he have benefit from what he just did? 100% he's going to be able to eat. He's able to taste. But a snake, when he bites, when he swallows, by him it's all one taste. It's, it's uh, uh, the taste of dirt. Doesn't matter what he is. Branch, dirt, people, frogs, elephants. He doesn't care. By him it's one taste. So why does he bite? There's no purpose. He just stomp does it. Rabotai, so that's why over here when you speak Lashon, what's the purpose of you degrading? What reason? Is there a reason? People today have so much time that they already took care of everything. They learned all the Torah that there is. Now that they come and now they speak Lashon on other people. Like they have nothing else to do in the world. So that's why Rabotai, what happens? They take his mitzvot, they give it to you. V'chein l'rashayim, Rabotai, listen carefully to this. And so to the, to the evil people. Marim averosh lo'asu, they're going to show to the evil people. A very that they never did. They're going to say, but we never did these sins. They're going to, Yeshua, they're going to answer him. You know who did this verse? And who did you speak the other day? Uh, on Plony Shmoni, you spoke about him? This is the guy, that's his verse. So now you're going to pay for his verse. He's not paying for his verse. You're paying for his verse. They're going to take from, from him and they're going to add it to your ledger. But that person has to be chacham. You always have to ask yourself a question. Is it kadai? Is it not kadai? Is it worth for me to speak now? Is it not worth? Is it worth for me to drive fast, for example? Is it not? Everybody, you always have to make cheshbon. You don't live life by, uh, uh, how do you call it? Autopilot. We don't live in this world autopilot. There's a God that dictates to us how everything has to be done. That's what the shulchan aruch, halachot, how a person has to live. Rabbi Tal, look what he says. V'harav marpele nefesh. The rav marpele nefesh be pirushal sefer chavot alavavot. He had an explanation on the book, uh, on the book, Chavot Alevavot. Hevi Lashen HaMagid Misharim. Rabotai, everybody knows the Beit Yosef. I assume everybody knows what the Beit Yosef is. The Beit Yosef is what we just learned in the Shulchan Aruch, Rabbi Yosef Karo. He wrote the Shulchan Aruch. He's called the Beit Yosef. He had a Magid. He literally had a Magid. He had a Magid. was a Magid. He had an angel learning with him 50 years straight. Do you know what 50 years straight? Let me see any one of us have an angel learning with us. Within 50 years straight, the angel would learn with him. So feel Maran Abed Yosef Amarlo. Rabotai, he appeared to Maran, the Shulchan Aruch, like the Shulchan Aruch we were learning, and he said to him like this. The angel told him like this. Kimi Shomer Lashon Har Al Chavero. Rabotai, listen carefully. Anybody who says Lashon Har on his friend, Minachim Lo Mizichuotav Venotnim Otam, Lazeshi Diber Alav. Rabotai, they're going to deduct from the person that's speaking. And they're going to give a zikhud on the person that he's speaking about. So it's a very big problem. The Magad Misharim told this to the Beit Yosef. This is the most true that there could ever be. He explained the statement. careful to this. You're with me? It's measure for measure. What's the measure for measure? Look what he says. Rabotai, just like you want to minimize... Why do people speak Lashon? There's no purpose in it. Because you want to bring him down so you can be, uh, you can be somebody up above. Just like you want to minimize their honor. All the or you want to damage him in other ways. Uh, your wife doesn't cook. The house is a mess. Uh, Lishba, every kind of, how you say, instigate, instigate. All this Asura Botai. We have this, that's what you have to make. How many, how many divorces? One rabbi one time said, he made 800 uh, marriages. Against that, he made 800 divorces, Rabotai. It's not a joke. It's like a butcher shop. You go to a butcher shop where you slaughter animals. That's what's going on today. People don't hop. Open your minds, Rabotai. People want to see you fall. People don't want to see you grow. This is what he's saying over here. Or they want to damage you. Or the person that spoke Lashon, he wants to damage you in other things. Rabotai, listen. You wanted to take away from his honor? You wanted to damage him? No problem. Measure for measure. What they're going to do, they're going to take away your marriage. So this way you don't have the Olam Abba, meaning it's going to take away from your honor. It's also going to damage you there. Because Rabota, you have to understand with every mitzvah, you don't even chap. You don't even understand how much you are able to reach in the next world. If I just give an estimate, rough estimate, if a person right now says shakal, and a couple of, if I, without an exaggeration, if you give me all the money that there is in the world, for this mitzvah that I just said, shakal near Bidvaro, Rabotai, it doesn't come close to what Hashem is going to reward you in the next world. It doesn't come close. So can you imagine by a person losing many mitzvot when he speaks Lashon Hara? In the next world, what he's going to see, he could have, let's say, have, I don't know, 10 worlds like this world, 10 of them. Hashem only gives him one. Tell me, he's not going to be upset? A person could have bought a property a lot. 
I know how what's it today? Huh? What's the loss today? 200 by 200? Yeah. I don't even know the measurement. Yeah. 200 yeah. by 200 about tie, correct? Yeah. And what happened? It was, for example, 1 million. You said, I'm not going to buy it too expensive, correct? Next year, the same property is 7 million. Mm -hmm. Tell me, you're not going to eat yourself alive? This is what we speak about you. You're going to eat yourself alive. In the next world, you're going to see what you could have accomplished. You didn't accomplish. That in itself is going to damage you. That's it. They take away your zuchuyot. They take away your mitzvot. And they give it to who? To the person that you spoke bad about. Rabotai, this piece is worth, worth listening to. Rabotai, everybody knew the Khatam Sofer? No? You guys knew Chacham Ovadia? And when it came to the Ashkenazic post scheme, he had Khatam Sofer, it was a humongous post I want to say, like Chacham Ovadia, if he used, humongous, humongous. Rabotai, in the Ashkenazic world, he says, Vetov an Yirel Rabbein Chacham Sofer, Bidar Shotol Shuvot Daf Rishad Hei, Shikatav, look what the Khatam Sofer wrote, listen carefully. He says, Our rabbi said of blessed memory. When you have a person that is appointed on a congregation, say a gabai. I don't know, just let's say a gabai. A treasurer, anybody. Somebody's appointed on the congregation. Rabotai, listen to this language. The Khatam Sofer says, If you're a gabai in the shul, you're appointed on the congregation, Hashem is going to forgive you for all your sins. Are you serious? Who does want to be a goodbye now? Everyone's going to want to be a goodbye. Rabotai, listen what he explains, what the reason behind this. Ve'ulai hatam, and maybe this is the reason, Rabotai. Kivin shimiteva hadam lidaver la'ag harbe al hamitamane parnes ala tibur. Rabotai, because the nature of people is what? To always speak bad. To always speak words of mockery against who? Against the person that's the goodbye in the shul. Oh, varuit, he steals. He doesn't do, he doesn't give me aliyah. They always mock him, they always... They always, put him, they always bring him down. Huh? He gave shishi to him. Or sometimes you have the goodbye, he says, huh? 101, 150, 175, 1, 2, 3. The other guy gets upset, why did you do it so fast? Rabotai, so he goes through a lot. People start speaking bad about him. Rabotai, listen to this. Viyadu Rabotai, and he says, the Khatam Sofer says, and it's known. Shukol hamidaber Lashon Har al Havero. Anybody that speaks Lashon Har on his friend, as avunotav nutolim vinotim al hamidaber alav. Rabotai, the one that speaks the his mitzvot are taken and is given to who? To the one that they spoke about. It comes out of here, Rabotai. I just, guys, I want to make a correction. Let me just, I, I skip something. Rabotai, when we speak bad on a gabai or somebody who's appointed on the congregation, you ready? All the sins that the gabai ever did, they're going to take all his sins and they're going to give it to the one that spoke Lush and Hara. That's why he says, Nimtaid comes out, That's what the Khatam Sofer says. When you have a person that's appointed on the congregation, on a Tibur, why, is, why are his sins all forgiven? Very simple. Since people speak bad about him, all his averes go to the person that spoke bad about him. And his mitzvahs go to the one, uh, to the Gabbai that was spoken bad on. Rabotai, with this the Khatam Sofer won't say who? on Gabaim or people that are appointed on the community. I want to show you guys something very important, Rabotai. I want to say today, unfortunately, Rabotai, you have certain people that they think they have an upper hand over the Chachamim, over the Talmud Chachamim, over the rabbis, Rabotai, and they speak degrading about them. Just because the people, just because the shul thinks they can give the rabbi money, it does not mean that they could di dictate to the rabbi how he should run the shul. The rabbi runs the shul according to the Shulchan Aruch, according to what the Torah tells us, not according to what Mr. Benjamin Franklin says in the $100 bill. It doesn't work like that, Rabotai. Why am I telling you like this, Rabotai? Listen carefully to this. If we're speaking about Gabaim, that all their sins are erased when they speak bad about him, can you imagine when a rabbi says something and you don't like it? You get offended. Oh, he's too hard. He's not for me. Or change your Rabotai. We're not here to find favors in people's eyes. Today the rabbi is here, the next day after 120, he's in the grave. You're not going to impress anybody in this world, Rabotai. Look how much Hashem put into this world. And still what do we do every day? Hashem, give me more, give me more potechet yodecha. How much potechet do you have? You have enough money for, the, for 100 generations. How much potechet? Because a person always wants more. That's what the Chazal tells us. A person will not die with half of what he accomplished. He won't die because he always wants more. Rabotai, why am I saying this? In Masechet Barachot, in David Ted, it says like this. I'm Rabbi Shul Ben Levi, Rabbi Shul Ben Levi says, when the Talmud Chacham Lohleinu dies, 
and you speak bad about a Tamil Chacham, this person is going to go to Gehenim. You're never allowed to speak bad about any Tamil Chacham. Every Tamil Chacham, he, we're not, you're, not, you're not that speaking on the Tamil Chacham of what he did. Rabotai, nothing to the Tamil Chacham. Hashem says, he is a mamish living Sefer Torah. Just like you respect the Sefer Torah, right? You have everybody runs to the Sefer Torah. They kiss the Sefer Torah like there's no tomorrow. Rabotai, the Sefer Torah is inside the ark. But you have Tamil Chacham today that are living Sefer Torah, walking, and, and people, ah, oi, 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 vor. Rabotai, all these things are sur. No, I hear this every time. It's a sur, Rabotai. When a rabbi speaks, they tell him, Allah, Sadiq, Khatid, Khatid. What's this? What's this? It's a sur to speak like that. They, they have to have respect for the Tamil Chacham. And then Rabotai also in Masek Shabbat, Daf Kuv Yutet, Daf Kuv Yutet, Amut Beri says, Amar Vihud, Amar Rabbi Yeshua, Amar, Amar Rav, Kolam me vaze Tamil Chacham, En lo rufual in Makator. Rabotai, remember this claw. Anybody who embarrasses a Tamil Chacham, anybody who shames, a lot of times you have a rabbi, he speaks on the, on the stage, and you have people, they think they never opened a book in their life. <laughs> but they think they know halakha because they heard it from somewhere. And now they try to prove the rabbi wrong. Rabotai, if you're embarrassing the rabbi, anybody that's embarrassed the Tamil Chacham, remember this. For every, for every wound, for every sickness, there is a healing. Rabotai, when you play with Tamil Chachamim, for that wound, for that wound, there's no healing. Hashem says, too bad. You just touch my, you just touch the Torah that my son learns. So a person has to be very careful. The Roma he brings down in, in your day in Simon Reish Mem Gimel, <clears throat> in Halakha Zan, he brings down that a rabbi should never start, start a fight with people because now if they're going to answer back, that's a very big problem. Rather, what a rabbi has to be, he has to be, he has to know his place. At the same time, he has to be able to honor other Jews. But even let's say if the rabbi goes, let's say he goes above and beyond, a little bit, still you don't have any right to try to be brazen against the rabbi. So we see from Rabotai what it means to understand the Chachamim and not speak Lashon Hara. Baruch Adonai Lolam, Amen, Amen.